Ah, uh, the little AMX 1390, the French Tier 8 light tank. By far my worst Tier 8. In fact, I am absolutely pants in this thing. And why is that? Wow, there's lots of reasons. Most notably, it's not an AMX 12T. And that is what really lets it down. But you know what? This tank isn't as bad as I initially thought. I'm bad as a player. And that got me thinking. Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fuji's Blitz and today we're going to look at the French Tier 8 Lite, the AMX 1390. That's the beastie there in Blitz Stars. Let's get the boring stats out of the way first. HP, not too bad for a light tank. <laughs> View range, pretty pants, really. DPM, pretty low. Penetration, not great. Damage per shell, not great. Burst damage, Best in class in tier, mainly because it's the only one with a magazine in this tier, in this class. <laughs> as simple as that, really. Penetration loss, really bad. Calibre, not great. Rate of fire, not great. Magazine reload in time, best in class in tier, because it's the only one with a magazine in its class and tier. So, it's not a great tank. It's just not the best light, especially when you look at the RU251 and the T49. So, you know, a lot of people struggle in this tank, and I understand why. I mean, it's peekaboo is recommended, circle of death is recommended, hit and run is definitely recommended. When I put it against all the other lights in its class and tier, you'll get to start to see a picture that it really isn't a good tank. I mean, the DPM is the lowest. Penetration is the lowest, apart from the T49, but we'll disregard him for the moment. Rate of fire is the lowest. Reload time is the lowest. I mean, it's just not the best tank. Depression, pants. Elevation, pants. Speed for a light tank, pants. Power to weight ratio, pants. Credit coefficiency, pants. I mean, it's not a brilliant tank. I'll give you that. And that's probably why when you start getting down to the bottom of tank compare, you will start to see that its win rate is pretty low at 50%. And there is a reason for that. And the reason is, it's not an easy tank to play. Why? Well, it doesn't have the speed, it doesn't have the gun, and it certainly doesn't have the armor to be effective. But you can be effective in it, and we'll get to that later. That's what the armor profile looks like. What armor profile, I hear you all say. Exactly, it hasn't got one. It, it is absolutely paper thin. You can see there, you can bounce off the barrel. If you're very lucky, you can bounce. This is facing a Tiger II, by the way, on its standard AP. So it is pretty paper thin. Likewise, it's got light camo, obviously. So, you know, stationary or moving, it's exactly the same. But the thing is, the thing that this tank struggles with the most is its gun. And it's a problem for it, bless its little cotton French socks. Because had this thing had better penetration, then it would be a much better tank. Now, its cousin, the AMX 1357, is due to get a better accuracy buff in the next update. This thing, however, is not set to get any buff whatsoever. So, don't think it is. So, you're going to have to struggle with it a bit longer. And as I said in the intro, the problem with this tank is it's just not an AMX 12T which is the tier five French light. And that tank is superb. This tank, well, it's a pale shadow of that tank. The thing about it though is, as I said, you can enjoy it, but you've got to be bloody careful. Now, I was lucky there, that SU didn't, I don't think he did, hey Jimmy, because if he would have, he would have taken a lot more than what he did. And that's the thing. So you've got to be careful with these tanks. You've got to put them in the right position and you've got to be very careful with your reload times because it is pretty long, to be perfectly honest with you. Yes, the burst damage, if you can get it out, is nice. It really, really is. But then you've got to like almost a 17 second reload of the magazine, which is an eternity when you're in a slow, paper thin, light tank, unfortunately. The thing about it is, you can't put it in harm's way. You really have got to do what they tell you on Blitzhanger. 
this is a peek a boom this is a hide and, and fire from behind cover if you put yourself in harm's way like I just did there with the IS-3 then you're gonna get hurt I've had to switch it up to APCR to pen because it does struggle with its penetration unfortunately but when you stick it in with the APCR then it does struggle with its damage output We've done 1,769 in this game, which isn't very good, um, especially when it's a light tank. And as you can see, it does struggle with its speed, and it's a light tank. So the engine isn't the most powerful. You're not getting a lot of speed out of it. And it's a shame, really, because this thing has the hallmarks to be a fantastic tank. It really, really does. But at the moment, it's just lacking something. It's lacking a bit of pizzazz. And, you know, that, that's what I think is a shame. We did the most damage there, we get a third class, and we're okay. So I immediately rolled out again, this time on Middleburg. Um, it's a tier eight, tier nine game. And, you know, we're, we're gonna see what we can do in this thing. Now, as I said, at the very beginning of the video, in the intro, this is my worst, or was my worst, tier 8. And I, I was awful, I'm awful in this tank, I'll be perfectly honest with you. Because I was one of those players who thought, well, you get on a light tank, you just yolo. And it happens to all of us, even me. And um, as I've got better at the game, I've got to understand the tanks a bit better. And the thing with this one is, it needs a lot of TLC, and I mean a lot of TLC. You, I mean, you do what I'm doing here, which is really stupid, because I didn't realise that the rest of their team was here, then you're going to get a smack round the chops. And I do, because I thought I'd loaded uh, a new magazine, but I hadn't, so, you know, tip to, you know, note to south, make sure that you really do press the double load um, on the ammo selector before you go doing silly things. I got away with that, luckily. Now, I've only done 221 damage here, so I'm going to get out of there. I've done a bit of spotting. I'm going to get out of there because I can see there's a back chat and I can see he's all alone and I can see that he's going after our KV4. So I'm going to smack him on the way down. Nice. Can I smack him again? Bouncy gun? No, I can't. So I don't get the full clip into him. Maybe I'll get the last one into him. Now, I make a mistake here, by the way. I inadvertently because in the heat of battle and it does happen completely forgot to switch back to normal AP so I'm on APCR which one is going to be expensive and two is going to limit my damage output which is really bloody annoying but I completely forgot to do it and again this is something that we all do so now I'm going to circle all the way around to their flank because I know they're all there I'm not going to even bother taking a shot on the FCM there's no point my gun is not that accurate, to be honest with you. So I want to get up here and I want to start looking at the standard B. And I really want, oh, sorry, the STA. And I really want the Scorpion, but you know, the STA presents first, so I take him out. Now I've only done 762 damage. I wanted the Scorpion G. He's gone behind the hill. A predator presents. Hello, T26. Smack you once, smack you twice. And I'm wondering why is my damage so low? Uh, it's because you noob, you've got APCR loaded. The uh, for, forgive the T49. Bless him. He's uh, he's trying. You've he, he tried my patience. Let's put it that way. Again, I forgot to load, so I'm sticking out when I shouldn't do. He hits me i don't think he hit me with he i think that was an ap that was his mistake i'm gonna go around thinking oh but i've forgotten i've got crap ammo so i'm gonna take him out anyway but now i've got a 103 who's gonna hit me with ap as well not he if you would have hit me with he it would have been all over good night vienna i managed to get out of the way my light camo kicks back in he spins his turret the other way thinking i'm running away gives me prime opportunity and I forget to switch to HE to smack him up the arse but I want to do as much damage as possible so I completely forget and as you can see I still haven't changed my ammo what a muppet I have now do I take a shot on him yes I do get a shot in now I need to get behind the church really really quickly so as much as I'd love to help the E75 it ain't gonna happen I'm on that 16 almost 17 second reload He's gone. There's an IS-3 Defender and an M103, two formidable tanks. I managed to get a shot into the 103. Now, 
I'm wondering, oh dear, if I poke my nose out, either would I'm a one shot to both of them. Uh, it's going to be all over and I'm going to be crying and again I'm going to be cursing the AMX 1390. So I'm going to back away and I know there's a big rock here somewhere. There it is. I want to get behind this rock. I know they're going to try and push me because they know I'm the easier kill and I don't have the big derp like the T49. Again, I forget to load my magazine. I played this game so badly. Oh, there's a 103. Smack him. 223 into him. Can I get one of them as they come around the corner? Yeah, I smack him. It forces him to shoot because I track him. Now I can go around the rock. Luckily here, they both miss me. One miss. He's not looking. I'm loading up. Come on, load your bugger. The IS-3, by the way, is on a load as well, so that's why he didn't fire at me. I've got one shell left to pop into him. There we go. 3,007 damage. Four kills. And we get a well-deserved mastery. Yay! Finally got it in the AMX 1390. So, it is actually a good tank. It's not as bad as you think. You've just got to give it a little bit more care and attention and a bit more TLC. Don't yolo in it like I used to do. And don't be a muppet in it. Pick your shots. As you can see, I lost a lot of credits there because of my mistake of not switching the shells. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been the AMX 1390, the French Tier 8 light tank, which isn't as bad as we all think. It just needs a bit of understanding. Keep it out of harm's way. Make those shots count. By all means, go on a decent replay, send them to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com or upload them to my Discord server. If you haven't yet, press subscribe. It's a lovely thing to do. Puts a smile on my face and makes me happy. Costs you nothing. I'd like to send a big thank you to all my Patreons who, without their support, these type of videos would be a lot harder to do. And until the next time, guys, I will say my usual stuff. Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and as always, happy tanking because that is what it's all about having fun and being happy